As a music producer in the Bible faith, you will see things to do with artists who are representing, you know, the church, so to speak, believing in kingdom principles and matters that, you know, Christianity it will throw at you in terms of whatever terminology and the word system, um, famous people or people on the pulpit and on center stage will tell you. It's sad to say these things, um, you know, can convince someone or can deter someone to to be led into beginning to think for themselves. Now, as a music producer, I create songs to do with Bible concepts and texts that, you know, basically is a witness or a, a testimonial track, let's say, that points towards the direction of the biblical faith. God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, you know, the, the, the triune existence of one whole self of God himself out there, whether you are a believer or not. I mean, that's not my job to convince you to believe. I'm just encouraging you to think for yourselves. Now that I took my faith seriously and belief in Christ in the cross of Jesus and his sacrifice, I basically go through a bunch of uh, li uh, lies at the same time, filtering them all out. Um, and I believe these videos of famous Christian artists uh, uploaded and broadcasted and presented out on YouTube basically is a big help for those who are really seeking the truth and trying to find a firm foundation for themselves and you know how they will basically you know, um, live out their lives through uh, honesty and integrity in scripture and biblical text that, you know, I encourage anybody to break down. Now, I kind of, I came across a, a, one of the, one of my feed on, on a YouTube wall. Uh, you know, it's basically uh, by this Christian hip hop artist or gospel rap artist. Um, I it just, you know, I loaded up uh, YouTube, like you do, and you know, um, this monster feed um, basically featured Lecrae and how he had to undergo certain things to even put his wife in jeopardy. Um, so, and so he was honest enough in the faith, in, in his faith, as well as in his mishaps and shortfall, um, that basically, you know, he. He almost lost his wife by putting her through, you know, severe tests and trials and trying to cut life straight according to the word of God. Um, and, you know, prostitutes, drug use, um, gang related, you know, mistakes and errors and bad thinking. Um, the, these are the things that Christians probably won't tell you that they fight for daily and you know, a lot lose the battle, um, and you know, in the battle rages, and the war will. You think it ceases as you'd like to, but you keep fighting the good fight. Now, um, Lecrae is a gospel rap artist, obviously a very famous Grammy-nominated artist. But it's great that he, you know, broadcast these things um, about how imperfect the Christian life is, and how it really is a flawed humanity that we live in and we all need the blood of Christ now I can go both ways of holiness and evil that's fine um, as you know Mr. Le Lecrae Morris uh, gladly elaborated on and so I mean to say you know who lives a perfect life like how can you even say that we're created in the heavenlies and live a spotless blameless blemishless life so when you're practicing your life patterns and you know applying lifestyles and you know and enduring what you endure and fail what you fail, do not basically make mistakes to the, to the point where you're thinking that you're down and out, thinking that you cannot uh, be you know approved of anything or qualify not the word qualify but you know, excel or achieve something. It doesn't have to be made out of gold. Like maybe it's a clear perspective and a clarity that you fight for for so long from fighting gray areas in your life. Like 
you know, don't count yourself out, not just based on um, the things that the media broadcast and tell you as far as what success is, but don't count yourself out as far as, you know, making it into God's presence one day. And people like McCray speak so much truth that you can basically say, look, um, I messed up here. I've tried reverting it this way. It didn't work. It took me another three to six months. And I got some clarity. Believe me, clarity based on honest conviction and addressing those matters, these things that bother us, the matters, the matters that hinder us from our own personal development and growth. Don't allow for those... Um, don't allow for you to think that you are out and count yourself out despite how many times you get knocked down. Air beats. Peace.